There's a couple of loot boxes over there. I think we said we were scrapping these because we could make them easily. Uh, you know what? We don't need to keep grabbing chamois sandwiches. I've got plenty of those back at the base. Ooh, lordy! Oh no, not good! Oh, not good at all! This is not good, you guys! Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go out and just do some random looting and resource gathering. We're not going to do a quest in this episode. Um, we're going to go, you know, loot mailboxes, cars, uh, go downtown, that sort of thing. But before we get started with that, um, we're going to, there's a couple things I want to do. Uh, first of all, we have a point available, and uh, we are focusing on intellect at the moment. Uh, more specifically, we're focusing on advanced engineering. Uh, so we're going to put the first point into that. And then we're going to start uh, paying attention to this because this is going to get us into our workstations more quickly, uh, which will, of course, be very important. Plus, uh, the intellect tree is going to give us some other benefits as well that we can look at. OK, so we got the point spent there. Um, let's see. I um, made the puffer coat. OK, hold on. What's up, Brenda? You just blew up. All right. Sorry about that. Had a little bit of a interruption there. Um, all right. So let's see. I made the puffer coat. I don't know if we did that on camera or not, but um, we found the book for it. So I made the puffer coat and I made three pocket mods. Uh, so what we're going to do is apply the pocket mods and that's going to open up some more slots for us. And then we can also put one on here. On our sweatshirt and we can put one on our pantalones there we go okay so that frees up um three more or opens up rather i should say three more slots for us uh in our inventory which is fan friggin tastic okay so let's see i have also created uh storage here uh, so we have clothing and miscellaneous in here we have weapons tools and ammo in here parts and resources in here and then over on this side we have uh, food and meds and uh, looks like I think did I check this recently yeah it looks like we're just on the verge of getting another jar of water there uh, so far you know with all the looting and stuff we're doing uh, one dew collector seems to be working out okay um, I still would like to have more of these for down the road so we have extra water for other things besides just drinking but um it's working it's working fine now i'm not having any struggles at all you know with keeping up on water and of course we're doing fine on food too okay so let's see i'm gonna put an extra bandage in there let's grab um, some bacon and eggs to take with us we'll do five uh, we're really we're in pretty good shape actually uh overall on food uh, we do have this hobo stew also but uh, this sucker gives 32 health um, so we might use that as an actual healing item when we, you know, next go out and do some combat and stuff. Uh, so for now, we're going to, I'm just going to drink one red tea, not only to top off our hydration, but also to slow down our food consumption, because that's what red tea does for us. And, oh, I also made a wrench too. Uh, so I made the wrench and we have a, an orange wrench. Okay. So like I said, the plan for today's episode is just to go out and do some random looting. Um, looking for magazines, uh, kind of just checking out the city. Uh, we might pop our heads into a couple of POIs, but we're not going to really be doing POIs so much uh, in this particular episode. And, of course, we'll do any hunting we can with our rifle, which, by the way, the rifle, I guess we can't see our toolbar in here. Uh, I did put the tripod mod, or bipod mod, rather, on the rifle, which gives us a, a tighter... Um, a tighter spread you know for aiming down the sights which is exactly how we would use this gun you wouldn't shoot this thing from the hip uh, not on it you know not normally anyways maybe in an emergency okay so yeah we're going to be just kind of randomly looting whatever we come across really um and that includes of course automobiles and hopefully we can continue you know finding more skill magazines and uh, 
good stuff like that. We don't need another one of these, though, so let's scrap that. I can make, I think, a level two uh, claw hammer, so I am planning a house flipping, you know, builder building type of episode here fairly quickly, and so when that happens, we will make the uh, we'll make the claw hammer for that. So since we, you know, have ability to make iron now uh, pretty easily. Let's see what we have in here. Okay, we'll scrap that. And we got a formerly known as Spider Monkey, uh, now walking zombie guy here. Okay, this is the black strap one. Very good. And uh, the barrel extender. Okay, that'll be handy later on uh, for our sniper rifle situation. Is there, any, is there anything? This is kind of. Actually, this is new. I have not seen this POI before. I hear more footsteps. Gotta be. You know, the. The most dangerous, well, not maybe not the most dangerous thing, but a very dangerous thing about my settings is uh, running hordes. You know, and you've already seen them come in a few times. And you just never know exactly when they're going to come in or where they're going to come in. So they keep me on my toes, man. Absolutely keep me on my toes for sure. Um, let's keep going after plastic too. So I'm thinking... I mean, I, I don't know for sure yet. It just depends on how things work out. But I'm thinking uh, we would want to have a minimum of two uh, of two dual collectors and maybe even up to four when it's all said and done. Did I already check this? I did, yeah. All right. Um, let's turn around and go back into the to the town here. So let's look at the map for a second. Yeah, this is a pretty good sized town. In fact, there's our two, tier two right there. But we're, like I said, we're not going to do that today. We're, we're going to mix things up a little bit. Um, So you know what I think I'd like to do is let's go north and find the, at the edge of this town, which might just be the next block over. And of course, like I said, we're going to do some hunting too. Beautiful. That's why I like the pipe rifle. It's not really all that great against Zombadoodles uh, in the early game, you know, because you don't have the skills for it, but it's great for shooting rabbits and chickens and deer. Uh, because, you know, unless your aim is seriously far off, you're pretty much guaranteed to, to get them. Let's check these vehicles here. I hear a crawler. Uh, nice. That's our first battery, I think, that we found. That will come in handy later for vehicle crafting and a battery bank when the time comes. Okay. I'm selectively uh, collecting rotten meat and bones and all that sort of thing uh, for gardening and whatnot. Um, one thing I'll say too, to those of you who are watching me, you know, for, for the first time or are new to the way I do things, I'm a, I, I'm going to tell you just right now, right from the get go that I'm an inconsistent looter and that is by design. Okay. I don't loot everything all the time. I, sometimes I leave things behind I don't even necessarily have a good reason for that other than to say that when I'm looking at something, at, uh, you know, when I'm looting and I'm looking at something, I kind of have a prioritization that just lives in my head. Um, and sometimes I don't feel at that moment that that particular item is something I want to grab. Uh, maybe because, you know, I'm limited on inventory space and I know I'm going to be out for a long time or, you know, whatever the rationale that happens to be in my head. So the whole point of that is just be aware that I'm not always going to loot everything all of the time. 
And some I know that frustrates some people. They say, why didn't you loot that? Why did you leave this behind? Or you missed this? Well, no, I didn't miss it. I just didn't want it at that moment. So just be aware of that so that way you know. Okay, grab all that too. So it looks like we're definitely on the outskirts of the town now. Let's go down one more. Well, let's go down a little further. But I'd like to, whoops, I'd like to kind of just get a sense for the overall layout of our, of our town here. It's nice having uh, almost an, a full set of heavy armor on now because, yeah, it slows us down and our stamina is harder, but we can take several thumps like that now and it's not, you know, we're not in danger of getting the shit kicked out of us. At least from, you know, these normal Zikaroos. Quit ducking. All right. That being said, though, we're not completely invulnerable, though, either, so... We do have to be careful. All right, so that bacon and egg should top us off. Plus, it'll give us some 18 health. Um, I think, yeah, let's just take advantage, too. We don't want to get cocky, though, either, which I tend to do. Um, you know, when you start transitioning out of the early game into the mid game, it's easy to get cocky, and that's when you get your ass handed to you. So hopefully we won't go too overboard on that. Okay, let's go into this place, and we'll just hit the outside stuff. We're not going to go inside. And I'm going to have to put a few things in the bike now, too, because we are starting to get heavy. All right, let's do this. We'll sort our stuff, and we definitely want to put non-stackables in the bike and stuff that we're not. Uh, all right, we should, we'll eat this, but we should save it. Let's not eat it just to get rid of it because it's food and food is very valuable. Um, stones, we don't need stones. We'll pick them up as needed. We don't, we have plenty of feathers. We can get rid of those for now. We don't need five nitrate. We have enough of these that we should hang on to them. I think I'm going to start scrapping pipes because I can now make pipes. And probably should be thinking about maybe doing that for springs too, but we'll see. Okay, it's not likely we're going to find more of these. I mean, we certainly could, but it's, it's, it's less likely. So we'll put those in there. Um, What else? I don't know. I mean, all of this stuff we could certainly could find. So let's just... Let's put the cement in the bike. Let's put the duct tape, the spring, I guess the headlights, the water. No, we're probably going to find more water. How about instead the glue, the electrical parts, and the mechanical parts? There we go. Okay. Let's go check this vehicle here. More repair kits. That's a beautiful thing. I like me some repair kits. That's a weird looking log there. Oh, there's a bunny. Thank you for your sacrifice there, bunny rabbit. We appreciate it. Let's check this thing. Boat crafting. Very nice. Okay, let's continue moving on here. We'll just go down to the end of the road. Don't actually need clay, but we'll take it anyway. I'm gonna hold off on the corn for now. There's a lot of corn around, so it's pretty easy to get. Okay, so this looks like we're probably at the 
northwest corner of the town because everything else I'm seeing out there is pumpkin cheesecake next that'll be good for bartering uh, we can also make pumpkin pie now too and I ate a pumpkin in I think the last episode and I should not have done that so we're gonna hang on to those moving forward okay so we are if we look at the map there's a little bit of stuff over here but anything to the north and to the west is now uh, wilderness so let's go just totally uncover whatever it is over this way. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Grab the plastic. It's funny, man. <laughs> you know, you look at this, uh, you look at this kind of, you know, run down shed actually the shed's actually not in that bad a shape but then you have this nice pristine door on it <laughs> i've noticed that in a couple other places too all right let's go down here and just make sure we have the entire circumference of the town uncovered so that way we know what we have to work with this is a good sized town man it's going to take a long time for us to cover the whole thing if we ever even do cover the whole thing Yeah, that gets out into... You can tell when you're on the Wilderness Highway because there's no longer any uh, paint stripes. All right, what is this? A radio station. That's a new POI as well. Cool. Looking forward to uh, checking those out. You know, in, in um, traditional seven days, or I should say in past alphas... I've always liked Tier 2 and Tier 3 the most and because you have the most variety of POIs in those cases. Got a cop car there. Take all that stuff. Like there was a little fender bender here when the apocalypse happened. That car's not lubable. Oh shit. That's right, there's a there's bad guys at these places. Hey look, there's a cop at the cop car. And a couple of Bernies too. I think this is our first Bernies we've seen. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Or I mean stammo st stammo. Cop it out, man. Don't spit at me. You suck. Wow, I, I didn't realize there were potentially cops at cop car POIs. How about that? I guess it makes sense. All right, let's run over here and loot this guy. And then there's one further down, too. Now, we could do one of two things with this cop car. Um, let's just top this off. I don't think we need to, but we will, just to get rid of that stone. Um, don't need the clay. Super easy to get. Don't need the golden rod. Super easy to get. Everything else I think we'll hang on to. So, I read in somebody else's comments it's watching YouTube and they said there's only a 20% chance that you'll get a horde if you try and break into the cop car and if we did break into the cop car and a horde came we just jump on the bike and run away cuz it's it's a nasty horde it's it's like in-game zombies that come after you. But if we didn't, then we can just break into it, save ourselves a lockpick, and there's usually ammo and pretty good stuff in the cop cars. So let's do, let's try that. Let's give that a try. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the bike up. We want to go down this way to loot that other car. So let's just put the bike right there so we can just jump on it and go if this doesn't go well for us. Um, let's eat this now. Free up another slot. I don't think we... No, we don't want to wrench it. We want to break into it. Okay, so we can get right on that and take off. All right, let's 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 try this. And even if a horde does come, you know, we draw them away, circle back around, and still get in the car. At least that's the theory. We'll see what happens here. Oh, here they come. Okay. Nice. Yeah, see, there's there's a, a feral white. I think it, usually a, a cop shows up. Got a janitor. That could be a feral janitor, though. Can we, like, get a beat on him and have us... Yeah, I don't know. All right, let's pull them further away from the car. Oh, man, he's running fast. Okay, let's go. Okay, what we'll do is we'll circle back around. That guy was booking it. <laughs> It's like, no thank you. We are not equipped to take that thing on. <clears throat> That's funny how you can see the lights flashing before the model itself renders in. out pretty good Let's see what we get mm. yeah, I mean no decent nothing to write home to mother about but decent okay um so yeah let's not go down that way because there those guys might still be around we've got a way station here There might be some outside Zikaroos here. There's another cop car. We could try that again. Okay, we got a Jiggly. Have I mentioned the Jiggly's not as... Oh, shit! <laughs> Jiggly's not as... <laughs> Jiggly's not as Jiggly as she used to be. They, they toned that down. <laughs> I wonder why, actually. Oh, man, that's funny. Okay, let's check the street bus here. <laughs> There's just something funny about zombies getting blown up in this game. Oh, is that a Y50 or a cop? It's a cop. Okay, you know what? Um, We're encumbered right now. So I think we're going to... We'll come back to the way station some other time. I guess, though, is that a normal cop, or did we reload this? Yeah. It's a normal cop. He's not that hard to kill. Oh. Sneak damage bonus. Missed. Yeah, it's just a normal cop. Okay. All right, let's go back there. Because there were 
couple more cars and another cop car that we could potentially do something with. Set the bike right there. It's just a Ronnie McDonnie. Scrap that. Alright, let's live there. Alright, we better deal with these guys. Okay, we're starting to get more Zeke's here. I said we weren't going to go indoors in this playthrough, but I want to hit this uh, semi-truck. What is that? Oh, that's just a formerly known as Spider Monkey Zombie. There we go. There's a little upgrade for us. Let's take the mod off of here. Scrap this and use the stone to repair this. The rest of those stones out. Anything else we don't need to be carrying around right now? Um, nah, I think I want to keep everything else we have. Dude, shut the hell up. That shot him up. Uh, okay, is there another? There's another semi truck back here. A couple more. This is a cool POI, man. This is this is new. Definitely didn't see this before. We'll take all of that. All kinds of cars to loot. a couple of loot boxes over there. I think we said we were scrapping these because we could make them easily. Uh, you know what? We don't need to keep grabbing chamois sandwiches. I've got plenty of those back at base. Oh, lordy! Oh, no, not good. Oh, not good at all. This is not good, you guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> that scared the bejeebus out of me. Woo. Okay, we're awake now. Oh, my goodness. Huh. Blood pressure. <laughs> wow. Did we already loot all these? We must have. I don't remember looting all these. I must have been yak yakking and not paying attention. They have definitely been looted. Oh, wow. Okay. That, uh, that was a little bit frightening in a startling, well, actually it scared the shit out of me too. <laughs> in, in all ways. Dang. Okay. Uh, you know what? I should have repaired those, uh, weapons first before I scrapped the pipes, but that's okay. We'll come across more, I'm sure. Have we checked these? Yeah, I have obviously been over here. I just don't remember if I did it now or previously. This place is dangerous. Goodness gracious. Okay. Let's try the uh, little trick with the cop car again. See what happens. We might get... I was going to say, we might get the attention of... Uh, how many of you are still around? Look at him duck. Bastard. Oh, 
Oh, that's too many zombies. All right, forget it. We'll find another cop car. This is too hot, man. Way too hot. Okay, so I think... Let's just get away from the, the meanies. That Edgar might get all the way over here. But I think we've uncovered the northwest part of town pretty well. So now we need to go uncover the north part of town. Um, so yeah, let's run up and do that. We'll do, I'll keep you with me for a little bit longer. We're getting close to time to wrap things up, but we'll stop and grab any nests that we find along the way for eggs primarily, but we'll take feathers too. That was exciting. <laughs> that was like definitely blood pressure raising excitement. Yes, it was. Chicken. Not a clear shot. There we go. Whoops, wrong tool. Yeah, we lost a piece of meat because I used the wrong tool. Um, I think we've done this Bose market already a couple of times. Oh, another cop car. All right, let's try it. I know I could use lockpicks on them too, but I want to save the lockpicks for really important stuff like buried treasure um, and, you know, maybe safes and stuff like that. Okay, let's get our stamina all the way back first. In fact, we could stand to drink. And eat. We could also stand to take a bandage. Okay, here we go. Oh shit. There's a horde. I wonder if that 20% chance is bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. We won't really know until we've done several of them. But see, yeah, those are some nasty Zika Roos. We need to we need to draw them away. Nurse Nancy's coming in hot and fast. Oh, she's feral, Nurse Nancy. Yeah, see, these are nasty Zeeks, man. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they gave us every frickin' critical in the book, and I don't have enough stamina to get away from them. Shit. We might die, uh, because I can't stop. They're right behind me. Oh my goodness, that was close. Oh, jeez. I, I, that was dumb. I, I'm going to just throw that out there. That was really dumb. I should not have tried to take on feral Nurse Nancy. Oh my goodness. I am so lucky. <laughs> I am so lucky, you guys. I should have bought the farm there, and I should have for being stupid. Okay, wow. So, if you guys know for a fact, or even if you have a pretty good inkling that you're going to get a nasty horde every time you try and break into a cop car, let me know in the comments, because it could be that whoever said that was just trolling. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we better go home. <laughs> I think we're done for the day. Holy crap. Uh, I got everything back at the base that I need to fix all of this shit. Um, but, you know, we're, we've are we we've lost half of our health cap. So it is no longer safe for us to be out here. And it's about that time anyway. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, look at that. That's like a port of entry place. A dot. Very cool. All right, guys. Well, we're going to wrap up the episode here. I You know, this was fun and it was very productive. And it was a little bit different than, you know, just doing quests for the traders. So I think we'll we'll just do this again in the next episode. And we'll just keep 
uncovering the perimeter of the town and then starting to go, you know, into the town to uh, to just loot all the outside stuff. It makes sense to do that. You know, we kind of accomplish a couple of different things in doing so. And yeah, we'll just keep doing this. So let's plan on doing the same thing in the next episode. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And pray that I get home safely before something else tries to eat me. All right, see ya. Bye.